Hello, Eugene McGuinness here again. Um, I just want to make as short a video as I can, actually, um, to try and uh, just get uh, the information out there uh, in part and uh, to make a comment on what I've heard on six on the, the One O'Clock News. Um, I just, not too long ago, listened to One O'Clock News. Uh, they were talking about the situation here uh, in Kilkenny with regard to the, with regard to the building of a, a mosque, big development down in Hebron Road. I live within... Uh, 200 meters, 300 meters of that build, and I'm aware of um, the problems that it will cause, the development, what what traffic it will generate, and the fact that um, we effectively are locked into our houses during match day as a consequence of hurling matches um, and etc. Uh, you know that that go on down in Nolan Park, and we have a Lockton Club, which is, of course is a fantastic club. It serves uh, uh, St John's here. And of course, we have the biggest cemetery uh, in Kilkenny, uh, not just not hundred yards away from the site. So we have all those things going on. And um, if the all if, if we if we get a situation where we have a match in Nolan Park and indeed a, um, a, a cortege, a funeral passing up, well, it's huge. It it just blocks the whole place. And um, the matches particularly will ensure that we can't get out of our states for an hour. And as a consequence, emergency vehicles can't get in. Now. I want to quickly say this, that uh, there was a meeting organised in Lockness Club. I had nothing to do with the organisation of that meeting, absolutely nothing, and I didn't hear about it on social media. I actually heard it, heard it on our local radio station, KCLR. Um, I had no intention of going to that meeting because I felt that, having knocked at all of the doors, and not all, I'm not finished with it yet, but I knocked at hundreds and hundreds of doors, I got a real feeling that there was serious, serious anger here. Anger at... Uh, town planners, anger at local representatives who did not inform the local community this was going to happen. They were all very quick to clap themselves on the back when they uh, decided, or when 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 they tell us that uh, we now have um, a new car park in I don't know the brewery site or whatever. But they, they were all very quick out and they clapped themselves on the back. Fantastic achievement, I, you know. I'm I'm really impressed. But um, when there was a, a development uh, of the size. And scale of the mosque uh, in Hebron Road, a five and a half million development. I didn't see any of them coming out to tell us all uh, how fantastic this this um, development was and how good it would be for the area. And I, I'm, I'm a bit puzzled as to why our local representatives didn't do that. But we weren't informed, and as a consequence, we all ended up. Well, the meeting was arranged in the Lockman's Club. I didn't organise it. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't organise anybody to go to it. I wasn't going to go myself. But a friend of mine said, well, listen, Eugene, will we go up and see what's going on? So I did go up and see. I was 20 minutes late from the start of the meeting, but when I went in, I could sense immediately. We, we were talking serious tension here. It was uh, local people who were annoyed that they weren't informed, local people who suddenly had an outlet to vent that kind of anger. There was no doubt that there was people annoyed. And, it, and as is heard, I'm sure everybody's heard it now, there was, there was, there was uh, comments made that should not have been made. Let me say this from the outset. I want to disassociate myself from any racist or anti-Muslim comments that were made. I am none of those things. I have no interest or no trucking with racism of any description. Or uh, as I said to the uh, to the Muslim representatives there after, I told them that I welcomed them to Kilkenny. They are absolutely entitled to a place to worship. Um, and I, I, I told them that I would actively try and help them to find a place. But that site wasn't suitable. And it wasn't suitable for a number of reasons. Now, all of those will be outlined in the planning um, uh, objection that we have going in, uh, along with many, many hundreds and hundreds of names of people who have signed a petition to uh, just to, to, to allow people to know and the planners to know that we don't want this up here. We're not interested in any development that will generate that many cars and and lock down these estates for any longer than, than what is it's it's not it's not acceptable at the moment because we don't have emergency vehicles able to get through here. You will not get an ambulance or a fire truck up here when we're on lockdown. So borough council are not really interested in that. They don't care. They don't care. If if somebody is ill up here, you're in trouble. You're in serious trouble because you won't get in or out. Uh, and that's that's uh, I, I have video data already and the congestion here and uh, the borough council are not interested and indeed public representatives seem to have no interest whatsoever and this this problem has been going on for 30, 40 years and uh, nobody's done anything about it but 
I'm just pausing this video to let people know that um, we are now being all the residents that were up there, concerned residents, genuine, hardworking, concerned residents who went there for an information meeting, who wanted to voice their concerns, are now being labelled as racist. On almost every channel, on almost every paper, I have to, I have to say that the, the, the Irish Times did um, ha had a report that was at least accurate, uh, but all all of the meeting wasn't about racist racist remarks or anti-Muslim remarks. It was about a lot of people trying to trying to find uh, find out what was going on. And uh, I don't believe I got the answers to the questions that I had posed at the time. I asked the Imam uh, if indeed he was to get planning permission for this site, and knowing that, in my opinion, ninety nine percent of the people that I have, the doors that I have knocked at, and I have the signatures, don't want the development, would he still continue to develop that site and uh, fly in the face of public opinion? Uh, he didn't answer that. Uh, he, he, he continued not to answer it, much to the frustration of the people that were there. Um, now, that's what happened. Uh, and that's how it happened. And uh, I refuse to allow people to brand me in any way. I'm a concerned citizen. I'm a concerned resident. I have a democratic right to be able to stand up in this country and voice an objection to a planning development that will affect me in an adverse way, I would suggest. And what has happened to democracy in this country when I can't do that? And when the media jump on the bandwagon and continue to accuse, despite despite me continue, continually saying that I have no trucking with racism, I have no trucking with anti-Muslim sentiment, none whatsoever. I have no difficulty. Muslims are entitled to a pla place to worship. Absolutely. And they should find that place. But they should also look at what they're doing down there it's not suitable. It's not the place to put it. Public opinion is very much against it. And if you don't take that into consideration, and indeed the town planners don't take it into consideration, where is democracy gone? We as a nation have fought hard to be able to stand up and speak freely. But now it seems that's no longer acceptable. You out there will understand that you can't do it anymore. If you say something like that, you're, you're going to be labelled. I'm labelled, but I refuse to stop. In actual fact, it makes me more determined to stand up and fight for the people of this area. And I'll just say this to conclude. The public representatives in this town have stayed silent. As I said, they're quick enough to clap themselves on the back when they open a car park. But funnily, no mention of a five and a half million development on the Hayburn Road. I would have thought that would have went up in lights. I would have thought for public representatives that would have been, because they're, they're, they're so delighted about all new developments, that they would have said, that's fantastic. I want to, to, to announce it to the world that we have a five and a half million development. But they didn't. And the people who are developing the site, um, when they put the notice in the paper, I think it was in the back of the Daily Star, um, not a paper that we would that I would read in Kilkenny at least. I would have thought if you're going to be open and transparent about such a development that you would actually put it in Kilkenny people in big block capitals and be proud of the fact that you're building your place of worship. But that didn't happen. So democracy is on the line here. It's not just Eugene McGuinness. It's not just Bishop Birch Place or Hebron Park, Assumption Place or Lockman Road. Democracy is on the line here. And I won't be stopped the people up here won't be stopped. We will continue to fight this development. But I think there's a wider issue here. And people should start realising that unless people are brave enough to stand up and be counted, that this democracy that we fought so hard for is gone. I will post some more on, the, on this, on this, uh, on this uh, uh, Facebook and, and on, on media. Um, in the next week because my objection will have to go in. It's a detailed planning objection. 
Uh, we'll have to go in by next Thursday, I think. I, I, I hope to have it in on Tuesday. Just in case there's any doubt, I will have it in on Tuesday. I would ask everybody in Kilkenny to support me. I would ask everybody not to stand up for the residents of Bishop Birch Place and Lockton Road and Assumption Place and Hebron Park and Oshery Park and all of those places, but to stand up for democracy and my right to be able to object to a development without being labelled a racist. Thank you.